So today we're going to be doing a very common exam question in Taylor series expansions and approximations and they all follow pretty much the same sort of pattern. They ask us to find the Taylor series expansion of some function, in this case uh, this question it's sine of x and we're going to do a second question. Sometimes they will tell you about what point they wish you to do the expansion, in this question they do, in the second question they don't. They will tell you up to which term they wish you to do the expansion and then they will ask you to find an approximation of something once you have got the Taylor series expansion. Okay, so let's um, go and we'll do, we've got this question and another one. So let's just have a look at the Taylor series expansion. Uh, f of x equals f of a add f dash of a over one factorial times x minus a add f dash dash a over two factorial times x minus a squared add da 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 add f n of a over n factorial x minus a to the n add da, 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 da. now if we put in the point a equals zero then we get the maclaurin series and for any other point it is the taylor series okay so basically let's go with this question um so basically what we need to do so we know that fx in this case clearly is sine x and so therefore f dashed of x is equal to cos x, f dash dash of x is minus sine x, and f dash 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 of x is minus cos x. We need those because we are doing it up to the fourth term. Okay, and we're expanding it around the point pi over six, so we know that a is equal to pi over six, and so therefore what we want is we want sine of pi over six, which equals f of a, which is f of pi over six, and that is a, a well-known sign, that's a half, and we need here cos of pi over six, which is our f dashed of pi over six, which equals uh, root three over two, and then we need here minus sine of pi over six, which is equal to our f dash dashed at pi over six, which again is minus a half, and then finally we have minus cos pi over six, which is our f dash dash dashed of pi over six is equal to minus root three over two. And then all we need to do is stick all of these values into here. Uh, and we have that uh, sine x, which is our f of x equals, okay, well, we got f of a. We've already worked that out. f of pi over six is a half. Add f dashed is root three over two times by x minus a, and we know that a is pi over 6, that's x minus pi over 6, add, uh, well in this case it's going to be minus, because now it's f dash dash, so that'd be minus a half times 1 over 2 factorial, x minus pi over 6 squared, and then finally minus root 3 over 2, and that's this one here, times 1 over 3 factorial, x minus pi over 6 cubed and now what we need to do is tidy all that up so that we get that sine x the taylor series expansion of sine x around the point pi over six is equal to a half add root three over two x minus pi over six minus a quarter x minus pi over six squared minus root three over 12 x minus pi over six cubed add and they are the other terms we're only asked for four terms so there are our four terms okay so that's the answer to part one and part two what they're saying now is hence find an approximation for sine of two pi over nine okay so all we need to do now is stick x equals two pi over nine so that gives us sine of two pi over nine equals a half add root three over two 2 pi over 9 minus pi over 6 minus a quarter 2 pi over 9 minus pi over 6 squared minus root 3 over 12 2 pi over 9 minus pi over 6 cubed that's the expansion up to four terms okay now 2 pi over 9 minus pi over 6 is basically equal to um, 4 pi over 18 pi over 18 so that gives us a half add root 3 pi over 36 minus a quarter 
pi squared over 18 squared minus root 3 over 12 pi cubed over 18 cubed. And this is our approximation. And now let's just have a look at what this is. Using a calculator for this, that equals 0 0.6427671. And the actual value of sine 2 pi over 9 using a calculator is 0.6427876. So you can see that to four decimal places, it is actually the same. So it is a very good uh, approximation. Now, just a matter of interest before we go on to question two, if we did the Maclaurin series expansion of sine x, and there's no reason why we can't, that's x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, add x to the 5 over 5 factorial, minus x to the 7 over 7 factorial, add da da da, and we wanted to find the approximation of 2 pi over 9 using that, well, that would be 2 pi over 9 minus 2 pi over 9 cubed times 1 over 3 factorial, add... 2 pi over 9 to the 5 times 1 over 5 factorial minus 2 pi over 9 to the 7 times 1 over 7 factorial. If we did that with these three terms here, we would get the value 0. Uh, sorry, 0. 0.642803, which is pretty accurate. Um, but of course, remember that in actual fact, really, this is five terms uh, and with with the extra term here we get slightly more accurate 0 0.6 0 0.6 sorry 4 2 7 8 7 which is slightly more accurate but again we actually have seven terms because the, the x squared the x4 and the x6 term are missing and the reason that it takes us more terms to get the accuracy using the Maclaurin series than it does with the Taylor series is simply because our point a equals pi over 6 is closer to 2 pi over 9 than our point A equals 0, which is what it would be if it's Maclaurin. And as a general rule of thumb, you basically want your point around which you're doing the expansion to be as close as possible to the, to the actual approximation you want to do because it will converge quicker. OK, now that leads us actually nicely into question 2, where it doesn't actually tell us... Um, where we are supposed to be doing the expansion about it just says about a suitable point and you will lose a mark if you don't put it around the right point um, so basically what we need is we need a point which is somewhere near 4 pi over 5 which is the approximation that we want to do okay well first of all anyway let's obviously uh, do our derivative so f of x uh, is equal to cos x here we need the first three terms so therefore we need f dashed of x which is minus sine x we need f dash dashed of x which is equal to minus cos x okay and now we need to choose the point about which we're going to do the expansion okay so we need to choose a point which is near to 4 pi over 5 but we need to choose a point where we know the value of cos and sine and the nearest point to 4 pi over 5 where we know the values of sine and cos is 3 pi over 4, because we know the value of sine and cos of 3 pi over 4. So 4 pi over 5 equals uh, 3 pi over 4 add pi over 20, and therefore we can let x be equal to 4 pi over 5, and a be equal to 3 pi over 4. And so therefore what we want is we want f of a, which is cos of 3 pi over 4, f dashed of a is uh, minus sine of 3 pi over 4, and f dash dashed of a is equal to minus cos of 3 pi over 4. And using our all stations to crew, we know that the cos of 3 pi over 4 is minus 1 over root 2, minus the sine of 3 pi over 4 is minus 1 over root 2, and minus cos of 3 pi over 4 is equal to equals sorry equals 1 over root 2 now we can do our expansion exactly the same as before just as a reminder f of x equals f of a add f dashed of a over 1 factorial x minus a add f dash dashed of a over 2 factorial x minus a squared and we only need three terms here because it tells us we only need three uh, and we've already decided that x 
is going to be equal to our approximation, 4 pi over 5, and a is 3 pi over 4. So now what we need to do basically is just fill everything in. So f of x, uh, and that equals cos x. Um, so therefore we have cos of x, which is 4 pi over 5, which is the approximation that we desire, equals, okay, well f of a is equal to cos of 3 pi over 4, which is minus 1 over root 2, and then f dashed of a is minus 1 over root 2, x minus, um, uh, x minus a, so that would be minus 1 over root 2 times x minus a, well we know that x is 4 pi over 5, and we know x is 3 pi over 4, so x minus a is equal to pi over 20, and then add f dash dashed of a, which is plus 1 over root 2 times 1 over 2 factorial times by pi over 20, which is x minus a squared. Uh, and tidying all that up, that gives us minus 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2 times pi over 20. Add 1 over 2 root 2 times pi over 20 squared. Now, when we work this approximation out here, we get that it equals 0 0.80945. And the actual value of cos of 4 pi over 5 using a calculator is equal to minus 0 point, uh, sorry, minus 0 0.80945 is minus 0 0.8090169, which is very close indeed to this value here. So with only three terms, because we chose our point A to be close, i.e. 3 pi over 4, which is only pi over 20 away from the approximation that we're trying to do, it converges very quickly. So the answer, well, in actual fact, the answer here, using the first three terms, find an approximation, sorry, the actual answer that you would, you would do, depending on whether they wanted you to use a calculator, you would either just leave it in this form or you would have it as an approximation here. And they may well ask, what is the error? Well, all you need to do then is basically just work out this divided by this and what the percentage difference between the two of them is. Okay, well, I hope you found this uh, useful. Um, basically, they're relatively simple. These are, if you note, if you remember that basically the Taylor series expansion converges quicker as long as your point A is as close to your point X as you can get it still knowing the values of the various f of a and its derivatives. If you found this useful, please um, like this video and subscribe to the Grusty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.